HTC U11 rumors point to monster specifications to compete with current flagships. Sources claim that Google is already testing its future Google Pixel 2, and Samsung starts pushing updates to fix the problems of the Galaxy S8. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, there was a time when most of my allowance would go to investments in G.I. Joe figures. I'm sure you did too. This is Pocket Now Daily. You know, it's kind of weird to start a Monday without official news, but I think it's kind of early when I recorded this video. Anyways, most important today when it comes to the rumors have to do with T-Mobile. The company is apparently working with an undisclosed ODM in building its own smartphone, sort of like uh, the company did with HTC many years ago with devices like the T-Mobile Wing that were branded as T-Mobile but built by HTC. And the case is that apparently this device is important because of a couple of things. Number one is because it has some sort of unlimited warranty. Number two is because apparently it has great specifications for a mid-range price range. So we will keep you posted as soon as we learn more. Now let's move the spotlight over to Amazon. We've got a creepy update here where we hear that the company is working on making Alexa more natural, but not natural when it comes to speech. We're talking about the fact that Alexa will now be able to whisper. You will hear Alexa breathe and a couple of other things that just remind us of the film Her. You remember that case where Scarlett Johansson was an AI computer that would just evolve and evolve, and it seems that Amazon is wanting to take that direction. We're not exactly sure how that's going to play if you're continuously having to say Alexa to you know, call on her. It's not necessarily the fact that she always understands that you're talking to her, so I hate the fact that I'm actually even saying her in these news. It, sorry. And speaking of voice, uh, Samsung has just pushed out a 400 megabyte update to its Galaxy S8 that includes a couple of changes depending on your region. Number one, if you're in Korea, you are getting Bixby voice. I wish we were in Korea to actually tell you how it works, but the second thing is the fact that those of you dealing with red tint on your displays, apparently this will fix the issue. Now, 400 megabytes is a lot. I'm sure that we're getting some other performance enhancements. We should learn more as soon as we work closely with this update. We'll let you know. Now let's move the spotlight over to Google as uh, we hear that the company has already begun testing its wall-eye Google Pixel 2. We know that this device is being made by HTC. We know that this device should bring some major enhancements to the Pixel. We're hoping that it starts with design, even though the Pixel continues to be one of my favorite phones regardless of how ugly it is. I'm not exactly sure when we're getting it. And uh, the good thing is that if it's already in testing, it should be only a matter of time. And finally, the very hot news that they have to do with HTC. Welcome back to the hottest news, man. I mean, U11, we've got leaked images of the possible specifications in the packaging. Snapdragon 835 processor, six gigabytes of RAM, the whole EdgeSense UI, in addition to the fact that this device is IP57 water and dust resistant. Now, don't worry, IP57 means you get less dust protection, but you do get ingress protection up to one meter over 30 minutes. So that's actually great. That's what we've been wanting to get from HTC for the longest time, but it leads me to the question of the day. Do you think that these specifications are good enough to compete with the G6 and the Galaxy S8? In my case, it'll all depend on design. Hopefully, this will not be another HTC U Ultra. Leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, you know the way it goes. If you want to get the news earlier before the video is filmed, follow us on parkingnow.com and hit that subscribe button down below for more videos like this one. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.